Apparently, Lauren Boebert has declared that she was never a prostitute, never had multiple abortions, never been a stripper. Now, I want to make this clear. Uh, frankly, I don't care about what uh, work she had in the past, as long as, as she doesn't feel like she was exploited in any way. Mm. I think some of this might help with some government regulation. Um, and apparently, uh, well, let's just say this. She is, let's play this, let's, let's play her denial. Uh, first, she is on the Tommy Lauren uh, show. Uh, Tommy Lauren, if you're not aware of this, is fearless. Uh, we know this <laughs> because there's a neon sign that says it. She's really, fallen in the, show. On her she's really fallen in the conservative ranks. It's amazing. She was yeah. like the, the new like flavor of the month for a while. And all of a sudden she's nowhere to be found. Yeah, she's what like, is well, she's on Outkick? So funnily enough, that? funnily enough, if I'm not mistaken, Outkick is actually Clay Travis's who we just heard with Herschel Walker, his network. So because yep. like, he branched off from Fox Sports, I believe. Um, so now this is his like own um, you know, it's like a conservative sports show. Yeah, yeah or a sports yeah, it's uh, like, website. It's, yeah, yeah, like barstool sports, but without like any sort of sense of like popularity. Among them. <laughs> well, wasn't like Tommy Lauren expelled from the Blaze because she came out like pro-choice like forever ago? Like she was oh, yeah, yeah, like when um, like like Bex yeah. and then she was like she was just pro-choice because you know a lot of people are, and they just kind of like you know her career. All right, well, let's hear uh, Lauren Boebert's denials. So I know some of the backstory of what happened here, but can you just set the record straight once and for all for my viewers on this whole nonsense about you being an escort on a sugar daddy website for crying out loud? Right, uh, Tommy, these are all lies. And you know, isn't it interesting that this is coming from the party of believe all women. I am not the only one that this has happened to. Uh, we, we know Pause it for one second. We will play the Democratic officials who come out and have said that she's a sugar daddy website on a... We'll play that after this. Right, uh, Tommy, these are all lies. And, you know, isn't it interesting that this is coming from the party of believe all women. I am not the only one that this has happened to. Uh, we, we know that they've lied about you, as you stated. They've lied about Sarah Palin and nearly every conservative fighter. Heck, even Mother Jones, a far left-leaning publication, called these sexist and disgusting claims. Conservative women are targets of the mainstream media, but that makes us so much stronger. I've never had two abortions. I've never had any abortions. I've never been an escort. I've never been a drug addict, as they claim, a stripper or whatever else they want to add to that. And over the last few days, verifiable facts uh, will be released that prove what I said. That proves that uh, these allegations are absolutely false. But here's what's so sad, Tommy. The damage has been done. These allegations trended number one on Twitter. Okay. Um, and so she's saying that in a few days, she's going to have verifiable proof that she did not have abortions or was never a stripper. Or I, I mean, I don't... Can I just say, like, if I was her staff... Uh, you know, leading her staff, I would say, could we just like not acknowledge these <laughs> accusations that are completely bullshit? It seems weird. This is a weird way to go about it because it is only on Twitter. And, um, you know, there's all sorts of BS that's on Twitter at times. And I don't know how, I think it's unfair for her to be in a position where she has to prove that she didn't get an abortion. That's, uh, I don't know how you Strange, do that. Yeah. I don't know how you prove that you were never a stripper or a um, or anything else for that matter. I mean, how would I? How would how would anybody prove that? It's proving a negative, I, you can't really do that. But I here would is, say, I'm sorry. Let's just show a clip of the mainstream media that is uh, that uh, you know levied these charges, and it's um, it's a it's a document. Uh, president of the American Muckrakers Pack. Is that the same people who went after <laughs> Madison Cawthorn? Yes. Uh, it is exactly. the same people who went after Madison Cawthorn after he threatened to blow the whistle on Republican lawmakers about their, um, their uh, drug and uh, sex uh, parties. It's weird that they're going after Boebert. And both Cawthorn and Boebert said that this was coming from the left when it was really a apparently coming from the right. I mean, do we know anything about this pack? 
The only thing I, I think they're associated with loosely is like that Occupy Dems account on Twitter, which is which is like kind of like kind of like awful, like baseless, like yeah, news that's a aggregating. Horrible account. Yeah. So, the, but also all this is to point to is that like it's not coming from you know any sort of institutional or you know elected official. This is not really super. To, to say this is credible or this is eminently credible and there is 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 her overinflating the importance of this account. It's also just weird that like you're responding to this outfit and yes, uh, like exactly. like Lauren Boebert, like I did, I had a tweet that uh, was uh, you know going into her giving eighty plus people uh, bloody um, uh, vi violent uh, stomach pains with bad uh, pork sliders uh, for her catering business she didn't respond to that at all like hmm. <laughs> or that well, her landlord I, now is mad at her in in colorado her new landlord for her restaurant and that they might have to close up shop yeah i was just gonna say you know this is the first time hearing about any of these accusations and they're all very specific and you know i would you know if i were as matt said the head of her pr per, uh, team i'd be like hey you know the first time any if in, the first time some people are going to hear these accusations are going to be coming out of your mouth that's just going to give them more legitimacy than if you know some random account tweets them out but you know maybe she's trying to get ahead of something that's going to come out if you go if you put lauren bobbert into twitter all i get stuff is about her like terrible restaurant that gives people diarrhea so you know <laughs> being closed down so like maybe she's just trying to distract from that it's all very Although yeah, I do I mean, like how I, she implies. So you're the saying Republican this is Party. a diarrhea whitewash? <laughs> well, I mean, a brown washing. It's limited. A brown wash. A brown wash. Brown washer. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard about to... these accusations, uh, and there was not there was nothing there. Like I saw them online, and I know they came from Madison, the the guys who went after Madison Cawthorn. But there's there's like there was like nothing there. Like they they dripped stuff out, like evidence and visual stuff about Madison Cawthorn, and then they. Uh, did not do the same for Bobert. It's just like that document is literally all they have, um, or at least yeah. all they've released, I should say. But yeah, it's well, weird that she would bring this up. It, show, it also shows just how like uh, social media brained these uh, new like uh, Republicans are. They're like so enwrapped in this bubble without realizing that like regular people uh, have no idea what she's talking about. I mean, I actually the the interesting story I recently saw about her was a source, uh, you know, and the Daily Beast covered this as well. A source went to the Daily Mail, apparently. And uh, this was uh, also employees at her restaurant said they remembered her clocking in with broken teeth and visible facial in in injuries. Back in 2020, right before her primary, she apparently ditched her own children after a Jeep ATV accident because she didn't want to get involved in any publicity for, uh, you know, what was, would come out of the accident, what they were doing. So she basically left her hurt kids inside this Jeep ATV and 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 and, and left the scene of the uh, accident. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, she bailed while it was crashing, right? And then like her friend and the kids were still in the crashing ATV. A, so a source told the outlet that Bobert, uh, who has a history of reckless driving, hit a rock wall, badly injuring her then sister-in-law. Bobert then bailed, the source said, leaving uh, Hooper, her sister-in-law, screaming and freaking out. Uh, Hooper's mother confirmed the incident to the Daily Mail, saying that her daughter got stuck inside of a crevice in the Jeep while Lauren took off her belt and slipped out. I, I'm, I actually misread it. I thought it was her own kids, but it's even worse. Like her, her you know, maybe not worse, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, her sister-in-law. That's horrible. This initiative. Is, uh, initiative. I have some information. You got our initiative. I get some information on uh, on the American P Muckrakers pack. It is um, a guy from originally from Iowa guy named david b wheeler he uh ran as a democrat i think in a state senate race i'm not sure in what state um and he is a co-founder of the of the thing i mean it, it it seems to me i look at this document about the pack it's making very specific claims against bobert now she is a public figure but if you know these things not to be true this is a big defamation suit, it seems to me. Yeah. And I didn't she threaten legal activity, but did she ever file? That seems like odd behavior. I mean, it, it, this seems like low-hanging fruit. Every time something like this happens where litigation is threatened, the, I think you may have either mentioned this yesterday or the day before, Sam. I don't remember about Bobert or someone else, but everything I always think of is discovery. They never, ever wanted to go there. Like, they're never actually going to try and yes. get it to go this far because who knows what will come out. 
it, it seems to me that if you get these type of specific allegations, these are very, very specific. Um, she owes her employees back pay and threatens them if they protest. She uses donor money to pay her taxes and restaurant rent. She does. Um, I mean, this is these are pretty specific uh, accusations. It seems to me that the way you respond to these is not go on Tommy Lawrence show. You go and you sue. Yeah, and, and don't talk about it publicly. <laughs> Say I don't need to talk about this. Um, yeah, talk to my lawyer. I mean, uh, uh, somebody says um, her lawyer has never threatened to litigate, just made uh, an anodyne uh, denials. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it, it wasn't Bobert that showed up with the bust face. It was her sister-in-law that she messed up in that wreck. Uh, uh, right, uh, right. 